Ola Aries, Sun, Scorpion, Moons, this is your 2018 reading. Now, this is the first portion of this reading in YouTube, okay? When you view this is when you were meant to see it. It could be a blip of time. It could be a longer period in 2018. Um, please have some patience regarding these readings. I'm doing 144 in totality, and you guys are number 102. Um, please check my playlist. I'm doing them in the order of most requested in the comments, so please check my playlist prior to to make sure that yours hasn't already been done. So for the first portion of this reading here on YouTube, I will read the textbook definition of your sun moon sign. I will shuffle the cards um, to get your energies into the cards, those energies into the cards. And then I will lay out the main cards stating what they are, stating what the positions are and what they are, okay? Now, the second portion, and if I see something, I might mention that also. So you will know if it resonates or not. Um, the second portion of the video, click on the link below to purchase it in Vimeo where you will have my interpretation in addition to clarifiers. It can be anywhere from a 15 minute to a 20 minute video in totality. Why am I doing this? Um, because some people can't afford a personal reading and this is a little more than a general reading. So it's kind of like right in between a general and a personal reading, okay? Some people would like to pay for a little extra more. Um, you're under no obligation, by the way. Some people feel like, I don't know. I've been getting weird comments here and there. Um, what else? There was something else I wanted to mention, but I forget what it was. Um, oh, yeah, and then so the video will end. You're welcome to look up your own your own interpretation of the cards if you wish to do, do so and not click on the Vimeo link below. Additional things, I'm on Instinko. Text only if you need a quick answer to a quick question. And if this reading resonates with you and you like my style of reading, consider a personal reading. Just shoot me an email. You can go ahead and get that set up. Okay? So, people who have a sun in Aries, moon in Scorpio, excitement and thrill are always part of your life. You move ahead in the world because of great concentration and ambition. You love competition as a result. You are defiant and independent, and at times this can be your undoing. Aggression is hard for you to restrain, and you do not accept compromise well. Those who stand in your way get no sympathy, and you have a drive for life that includes the entire spectrums of the, of the spiritual, emotional, and sensual. Mars rules both of these signs, and according to the mythology, Mars also rules passion and war. The result is an aggressive person. Regardless of what you do, fun generally involves a fight. This includes business, love, and life itself. Doing something part way is not part of your character because you are an extremist in spirit and thought. The result when you fail is complete tragedy and when you succeed, a total victory. Advice should be listened to at times though. So the next time there is a disagreement, do not be so resistant and prepare for battle, but rather listen carefully. You might learn something. Others might have something helpful to say, so compromise sometimes. You're very creative and have an enormous amount of willpower, but you cannot really succeed until you learn to work in cooperation with other people. Constructive and positive outlets need to be found for your aggression so they can be channeled for success. Your concentration is good and you have excellent intellect. You, you want to dig deep with your pursuits and are not happy just to get superficial impressions. There are Aries Scorpio social activists, scientists, and scholars. You have the power of self-rejuvenation as do all Moon and Scorpio people. You may get in trouble at times or even fail, but you always have the ability to bounce back. You are a courageous and freedom-loving person. Sports like swimming, jogging, or tennis, as well as creative endeavors like art, can release anger better than getting upset with your spouse, coworker, or children. There is a pioneer inside of you, and great accomplishments are possible with your ambition and enthusiasm. Exploration of the world and seeking adventure when you were young or very when you were young or very likely. You can be very hard to control early in life though, so some professional training is a good idea. Great success later in life is attainable if you are guided properly. Okay? So, Holy Spirit Angels and Divine Guides Universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, and clarity for Aries, Sun, Scorpio, Moons for 2018? Can you show us what surrounds them at this present time or when they came to view this video? What did they leave in 2017? What's something they can expect in 2018? Where should they focus their energies in 2018? And what will be their general outcome for 2018? Please grant me the objectivity to read these cards as they're intended to be read and say your messages as you intend them to be said for 
Aries Sun, Scorpio Moons for 2018. Holy Spirit Angels, can you show me what surrounds them at this present time? The star card, the card of Aquarius. Good. Can you show us what they left in 2017? Aries Sun, Scorpio Moons. I'm having a hard time breathing. All of a sudden, and I don't know why. I don't know if that, that means anything to some of you. Um, the Emperor in Reverse <clears throat> for something you left in 2018. What's something that you can expect from 2017? What's something that you guys can expect? They're pushing out the Six of Cups in the Upright. King of Cups in the Upright for where you should focus your energies. And then finally, General Outcome for 2018. For you guys, we have, nope, they're not pushing out, we have the Five of Swords in the upright. Okay, so for those of you, um, for some of you, you come could have come out of period in 2017 when you realized you don't, um, you didn't really like uh, maybe your overly aggressive behavior. So when you come to view this video, you're actually thinking about how to heal from that, how to kind of move on from being like that. Some of you in 2018 might um, go to something in your childhood, might end up reconciling with somebody, and you should focus your energies on becoming more of a tolerant person, an empathetic and an understanding person in 2018. So if you guys would like to go into this deeper, click on the Vimeo link below. We'll go ahead and explore that. Otherwise, keep in mind, I'm on Instant Co. If you need a quick answer to a quick question, private reading, send me an email. We can set that up. And for the rest of you, I will see you Aries, Sun, Scorpio, Moons in March for your general love readings. Adios from Veronica Garnett.